contestant number one, Osama Ibrahim Hamid, the opposite experience again. The opposite experience again, Osama Ibrahim Hamid. Thank you. Finally, NASA found life on Mars. Surprisingly, it was the same life like on Earth, except for little differences. At least that's what NASA said. Several airlines arranged touristic trips to Mars. And I was highly excited about this new experience. So I quickly reserved my Gulf Air ticket to Mars, and my first destination there was Kuwait. In the airport, I prepared my passport, ready for the long queue, where the police officer saw my passport and said, good morning, sir. You can just sit and relax till you finalize your passport. Welcome to Kuwait. <coughs> yeah, OK. <laughs> and then we started our tour. The tour guide explained, in the morning, we will have a big party in the huge grainy forest of Jahra. In the evening, we will enjoy the beautiful light life in different clubs of Hawali. <coughs> is this a little difference? <laughs> wait, wait, if this is a life in Kuwait or Mars, imagine how it will look like in America. I'm sure it is the most fancy life one can dream of. I can't wait till I go and see it by myself. So I quickly reserved my ticket and took the next available flight to America. In the airport, I prepared my passport where the officer asked me, Sir, are you an Arabic guy? I said, yes. He said, sir, you can just take a visa upon arrival from the next counter. No need to stand in the queue. <coughs> Excuse me, you're talking about this passport. This long green passport. Yes, sir. Excuse me, this queue. It's for who? The naughty French. <laughs> okay. I quickly finished my paper and then ran outside to see the fancy American. Woo! What a dusty weather. And what's all these rubbish and cats in the streets? Is this America? And then four beautiful girls came after me. And one of them directly asked, Are you an Arabic guy? I said, Yes. She said, I like Arab countries. I tried to, several times to immigrate to your country, but unfortunately the rules are very difficult and it's even expensive. I can't afford going there. Excuse me, you tried to immigrate to my country and my country refused? Yes, it's a land of dreams. I cannot tolerate living in this poor America anymore. Our only solution now to get your nationality is to marry an Arabic guy. Would you please marry the four of us? <laughs> I know it's acceptable in your culture. <laughs> no, no, no. I know these games. <laughs> you are human rights activists. And the next day, I'll find in the newspaper the big headline. Osama, the terrorist, is back again in America. <laughs> this time he kidnaps women, not airplanes. <laughs> Where well, one of them took my passport and said, Osama, for the sake of this passport and this nationality, forget about human rights. Really? I was shocked, but I liked their idea. I married these four beautiful women, and then I go back to Earth. I go to my country on Mars, which seems to me the, the main power now. I accepted their offer, and we got married. But only after two days, <clears throat> strange symptoms appeared. I suffered from sweating, headache, and vomiting. I went to the doctor. He made his regular checkup. And then he said, with a big smile in his face, Congratulations, you are pregnant! <laughs> what? <coughs> what? Who? Me? Welcome to Mars, the world of the opposite. After three months, you'll get your first baby. Three months, on Earth, women deliver after nine months. That's women. We're men. <laughs> we finish things fast and quickly. <laughs> Doctor, I have a problem. Who is the mother? Who told you to accept? <laughs> How will I deliver? Welcome to the world of the opposite. Opposite. 
things went fast. My belly started to grow. And I crave in the evening for ice creams and nuts. And then my wife started to buy baby girl clothes. And I asked her, what if he's a boy? They said, no. In this case, you get pregnant again and again. Till we get the girl. <laughs> Who will take care of our big family? Who will take care of our future assets and money? Only girls do this. And then when things went fast, I delivered, and unfortunately, he was a boy. Sure, all my wives got angry, but I decided to escape from this crazy planet, and I quickly reserved my ticket back to Earth, and whew, I'm away from this crazy planet. I escaped from the opposite experience. Back to sheer contest.